In this video, I'm going to share with you my biggest struggles on my vegan journey and how I have overcome those struggles. What's up guys, I'm Tui, I'm a vegan CrossFit athlete and online fitness coach living in Bali. I release weekly videos about health and fitness, plant-based living, mindset and Bali life in paradise. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button and also if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I have been vegan for about five and a half years now and every now and then I get asked what is the hardest thing in being vegan or was it hard to become vegan and do I ever struggle, do I ever miss meat or anything else so I thought to make a little video about uh, covering all those questions by the way sorry about the back background noises I'm sitting here on my balcony there's every now and then some uh, scooters going by and there's also a guy sitting in the rice fields um, like trying to get the birds away so, so sometimes you might hear some, some funny noises in the background so apologies for that but let's start with the question do I ever miss meat do I ever miss cheese do I ever miss any other animal products and the answer is no no. Um, for me, I went vegan for ethical reasons, so I saw a video from a slaughterhouse and I knew straight from that moment that I don't want to support that system. So for me, my why has been really clear since the start, uh, especially with meat, it was always like a, a definitely a no. I was quite lucky to go vegan about at the time when all the like alternatives, like vegan alternatives started to come on the market. So everything these days um, is and can be veganized. So maybe like 10 years ago or something like that, it would have been a little bit different. But nowadays, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. There's vegan pizza, vegan ice cream, vegan burgers. There is vegan meat, vegan chicken, vegan fish, vegan shrimps. Like, it, there is just like everything um, that you can imagine is already veganized or you can find uh, the recipe, how to do it. So um, yeah, I definitely don't feel like taste-wise or experience-wise I am missing out or anything. And quite the opposite actually. When I went vegan, I actually started to explore like so many new products and so many new like vegetables and fruits that I even didn't know existed and all kinds of like legumes and spices and I feel like my my um, uh, eating before was really narrow it was just like always kind of the same always like the stuff that you're used to and when I went vegan this happened and I was just like exploring and trying new stuff and learning about like, amazing foods so for me instead of like missing something or feeling that uh, it is restricted to eat vegan it's exactly the opposite and um, at some point I even got a little bit like annoyed when people were like oh yeah so you cannot eat that or you cannot eat that and I was like no I can but I choose not to like it's not about the restriction it's a choice it's a decision um, that you make and it's, it's for me at least personally it's like a lifestyle uh, which is like just open my eyes eyes and open my heart for uh, all the other beautiful opportunities and possibilities and living through compassion and especially now I live in Bali in Changu which is like a vegan paradise for so for me it's a really, really easy to uh, eat vegan and to eat at restaurants and to like eat like anything that I want really is, is veganist here so that will be my first one that is actually like it's been hard sometimes or it's been like a little bit of a struggle like when I have been traveling in countries that are not as vegan friendly um, sometimes it is a little bit harder to find places to eat out or uh, especially if you are with people who are not vegan or not like uh, vegetarian or something uh, it might be sometimes tricky if you're like in some kind of meat restaurants and that and that to find vegan options um, I used to get into those situations a little bit more often and then I was kind of like just eating rice or whatever would be available nowadays um, I am more cautious first of all I don't um, necessarily want to go into like steakhouse and that anymore I'd rather skip and do something else or um, if it's like an occasion a party or something I usually just check in advance or um, call the restaurant or something like that so it's always been able to arrange something so um, that's just some little tip like if you live in a country that's not as vegan friendly or if you're going out with a big group or something it's always good to like warn the restaurant or something to make sure that there's not this awkward situation so uh, you can avoid that by just preparing and checking in in advance but in general like I've been traveling quite a lot and anywhere in the world you can find fruits and vegetables and that so if you're like um, not going to a specific restaurant it is quite easy to go to like fresh markets or supermarkets even uh, and just like cook your own food you can find 
like basic stuff pretty much anywhere legumes rice vegetables uh, and fruits are set so in that sense like the only th place where I, I was actually struggling was Malaysia um, some some years back I was I was out with uh, a group of young people and um, the, the people there just like the locals there they just didn't understand when I tried to order like vegetarian fried rice so they put just chicken I, I think I ordered like from three different restaurants and they always put chicken in there and then I just gave up and I just didn't eat and I just went to buy some fruits later on from the market so that's kind of the only experience that I just didn't manage to get like vegan food for the rest it's always been okay and I have gone through a couple of phases so these these have maybe been like my biggest struggles um, when I um, went vegan a little bit after that I was uh, training so much I was like I was training CrossFit twice a day I was giving group uh, fitness classes and I was like I was doing like spinning I was, I was a spinning teacher so I was like doing that five times a week and I was riding my bicycle everywhere I was like super crazy active like I was like all the time on my feet all the time doing something and at that time I was struggling a little bit to eat enough calories so I wasn't uh, I wasn't eating enough also because my days were so packed and so full so uh, I went through a couple of months that I was on uh, too low calories and I lost a lot of weight and I, I lost a little bit of muscle as well I became quite like skinny and um, after when, when I like became aware of it then I was able to fix it I, I was tracking macros for a while and then I was able to kind of find the balance again and, and eat enough so that's something also to consider if you eat whole food plant-based um, you need to eat volume wise quite a lot because uh, plant foods are lower in calorie density so if you're used to eating like a portion size which in involves like a lot of animal products which are higher in calories uh, most of the time and also uh, higher in fats and that so uh, when you start switching to plant-based it might be that you need to eat like for the same amount of calories or you get to eat for the same amount of calories a way bigger portion so that was a phase that I went through but I learned from it and since then I haven't been uh, struggling with not eating enough and I actually really enjoyed that I get to eat a lot and uh, without gaining uh, extra weight and also without having those kind of digestive issues of feeling tired after a heavy meal or anything like that so that was a phase I went through and another phase I went through was when was probably like maybe three years ago a little bit before I um, moved out of Finland all these amazing vegan products started to come on the market so I was like I got so excited trying out like all these like meat alternatives and cheese alternatives and vegan sweets and all that kind of stuff and at some point I was just eating quite a lot of like processed stuff in that sense that I was getting a, a kind of like a lot of sugars in and a lot of like uh, tr like saturated fats and stuff just because I was just like I wanted to test all the new ice creams on the market and all the new new stuff on the market so I was also like writing a, a vegan blog at the time so I was like justifying it that I need to I need to test them that I need to know what I'm talking about that I can recommend stuff to people so I went through a phase that I switched a little bit off like whole foods into a little bit too much processed I'd say and the the result was just that I didn't feel as good so then I went back into eating uh, whole foods mainly and, and I found the balance and I, I still eat um, vegan sweets and all that and processed things I love pizzas and burgers and all that kind of stuff but I just eat it like occasionally so I don't have any any problems with that so I also because I'm an athlete and I work out a lot obviously I I need a lot of calories so sometimes I even feel like I I need like an extra donut that I'm able to like get the calories in or I, I, I tell myself I need it of course I could get it from more healthy options but um, yeah it, I, I just find it, it serves me and I also tell it to go to my biceps that's my secret honestly guys I haven't been struggling much other than other than that I haven't been uh, missing out on anything I never feel like I've been missing out and um, everything today is veganized and my, my decision is so so clear and strong and my why is so strong and to be honest like the the biggest struggle that I have had throughout this little bit over five years of being vegan is to live in a world that is not yet that vegan friendly and what I mean that by that is that um, it is sometimes been really hard to accept and see that people don't care so when I went vegan was because I found out how the animal industry works and I found out how the animals are treated and I, I was like this is horrible like how is this even like legal how is this even happening and I thought if I just get the information out there like of course everyone who gets to know this stuff are, is also gonna make the same decision uh, so that's why I started like writing a blog and that and then I realized that many people just don't care many people just don't wanna know about it and I understand it because I was there for 
uh, several years myself in kind of that ignorance or in, in kind of that like disconnection I'd say more to kind of know that something is off but not wanting to go deeper with that not wanting to know and just live kind of in that um, in those beliefs that that the those industries want you to believe about happy meat and happy dairy and all that kind of stuff which just isn't isn't true unfortunately so that's maybe I'd say the hardest part that I have faced so yeah sometimes it's just a little bit difficult to see all that disconnection around uh, even that I totally understand it I lived in that state myself most of my life so I know how easy it is to uh, be disconnected and um, to kind of live in ignorance and I'm not saying this to blame anyone just to kind of um, share the insights what happens when often what happens when you go vegan because you rip the blindfold off and then you know the truth and then you just see it everywhere and you of course when you see meat and you see like dairy and, and like animal products you know how they're produced so if you have seen like the, the slaughter videos and stuff like that you you might get like I, I got like flashbacks and nightmares about it for quite some times and um, yeah it's just of course like not the nicest things and that would definitely be like the hardest part for me personally uh, so far my vegan journey but on the other hand that's also motivated me a lot to um, like stand up for this topic and inspire others and talk about the truth and uh, showing that you can be super strong and you can thrive your life uh, even through compassion and that you don't definitely need any animal products and that is actually a much more compassionate way and also for our planet and also for our health so um, that's the that's what actually motivates me to be the messenger so in that way I'm even grateful for that and I know that like everything is not supposed to be easy and we need we need challenges and we need those harder times also to grow and to get better so in that sense it's just part of the journey I would say that's it guys those are my hardest struggles that I have gone through so far uh, within my vegan journey of a little bit over five years um, let me know if you have gone through any similarities or if you have some other ones that you want to share share them in the comments below also let me know if you have any questions and I will get back to you if you want to follow my daily journey just uh, come say hi on Instagram, the Vegan CrossFit Girl, and otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.